Hello and welcome back to the Craft Box. My name is Brent, and today we're in episode 89 of the Wizard 101 Death Walkthrough. Last episode, if you haven't checked it out already, we were in the Portico, which is also um, the Lunarium, um, and we got the Star of Celeste, uh, the Moon of Celestia, in fact. Um, so yeah, that was cool. And today we're starting the Science Center. Oh, thank goodness, help has come. Where are the rest of you? You didn't come alone, did you? I suppose we can make do with the party of one. The steam drowners have gone berserk. They're the mechanical workers we brought with us to help with the digging and heavy labor. Now something's gotten into the cogitators and they're attacking members of the expedition. They must be stopped. Okay, um, already defeating things. I'll be back in just a sec once I have defeated these steam trawlers. Okay, I am back. It's a sad bit of work and it will cause some difficulty later on, but it had to be done. Yay, live a lot. Now that the immediate threat they possess is over, it's time to get to the bottom of what caused the malfunction. I found some irregularities in the cogitators of the steam trawlers. But I'll need to gather more evidence before I can be sure. Can you defeat some steam winches and recover their cogitators? Oh, and recover the cogitators from the steam trowlers you defeated earlier. If they've got the same irregularity, then that's the source! Science in action! Okay. Hello, young wizard! Want to hear something really interesting? Come and see me at the death school in Nightside. I hate to bother you, but there's been a terrible oversight. Someone's not doing their paperwork, I'm afraid. You should be contacted shortly by your school professor about a new pet. But there is a cat. When you're able to explore all of Winter Tusk, you should be hearing from your professor. Be careful when you're in Winter Tusk. I hear it's quite cold, so be sure to dress warmly. Where did the other one go? Ah, uh, Q. young wizard. Want to hear something really interesting? All play and no work makes for a dull wizard. Report to my classroom at Nightside for your new assignment. Okay. Um, so, we need to get hit over to Nightside, but I'll do that in another video. Um, so yeah, let us collect some cogitator from this guy here, apparently. The big old cogitator, and then we need to defeat and collect cogitators. So I'll be back in a sec once I've defeated and collected cogitators. Just finished off that. I'm impressed. You took them apart like a bone mechanic. Are you sure you don't want to give up the whole wizard thing? Now that I can identify the glitch in the cogitators, I can formulate a defense. We have a galvanic fence using power drawn from the galvanic towers, but it was deactivated by the Steambot revolt. Okay, let us gather me some laden jars. Um, they are just kind of everywhere. By everywhere, I mean just on the ground randomly. Oop, sandstone's good. Very nice that I got that. Um, Leyden jar here. Hello. And one more. And I know that there was one over here. Where these guys were. Yep, there's two. Perfect. Energize the towers. Next one, well, there's five of them. That's quite a few. Five. This is probably three or one. There we go. And let us hit on back to Piper. Excellent work. You bought us some precious safety and managed to avoid electrocuting yourself. Well, that's always good. If you're willing to stay on and help a bit more, I'm sure that Engineer Montgomery will welcome your help. He's in the Arboretum right now. Just drop in and tell him I sent you. Okay. 
Um. Da, 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 da. Let's use the teleporter to the arboretum. And he is just over here, apparently. Oh, look, more galvanic towers. These ones are not charged as well. That is a shame. Who's that there? Come any closer and I'll fry your gears with galvanic energy. Oh, my pardon. I thought you were one of the... The constructs have run amok. Something's turned them bunkers and they keep attacking the expedition. I'll need your help locking things down around here. If you're willing to help, can you buy us some time? If you can, thrash a handful of them Hydra mechs and steam valets. That'll do us nicely. Okay. So keep an eye out and give them what for. Let us do this. Um, we're going to do this. Hydra mech and steam valets. Hydra mechs. Trying to get one with both. Unlucky. Oh well. That's fine. That's fine. He can do this. Um, yep, blade, nice. You're gonna tower shield, no doubt. What a surprise. Yeah, 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 boop. Nom. Okay. Uh oh, this could be bad. How much this gonna do? This gonna do a bit. Five to four? That did a bit. This shield, seriously? 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 Seriously, man? Seriously? This is probably not even gonna kill. But we have another one, so that's fine. Yeah, not quite. Not even close. Not even close, man. I didn't know these guys could even death shield. Like, what? Okay, good. I thought he was gonna death shield. That would have been bad. So, 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 so. Yum, there's a one lucky. Really? You're just being a dick now, aren't you? Well, we have some blades, which is good. This is just ridiculous. Nah, that's not fair. Okay. This is gonna do a bit. Hey, actually, we have a lot of life for this, so it may not. Yeah. 340, not too much. You really like fizzling, jeez. Unfortunate for you. Really? Parpips, please. You had one job. 
You had one job. Yum. Okay. What's this? Okay. And here we go. Finally, can hit. Well, at least one of them's dead. There we go, one down. And you're gonna be stubborn, aren't you? Yep, you're gonna be real stubborn. Okay, we're gonna try and wraith. Hopefully. In order to get the win. We'll do this. I'm gonna hope he doesn't death shield. If he does, that would be unfortunate. No, Fizzle, unlucky. Stop getting new pips. No pips are bad. It is really annoying. Okay. Okay. No. Yay, there we go. He should be dead, hopefully. There we go. He's definitely dead. Well, I'll be back in a sec once I've defeated the rest of these. Okay, I am back once again. It's a fine thing you done for us indeed. Now, let's get to work putting things back to right. One of the first orders of business is to get the power running. That'll help us immensely. Can you go and assemble my toolkit from where it's been scattered? Them renegade watermatons spread them near and far. Come to think of it while you're at it, you can use them on the generator to get it back on its feet. Okay, let us find some of the engineering tools. One is over here, only three of them, which isn't too many. Yep, we've already got that one, huh? Um, here's another one. Let's see if this works today. See if luck is in our favor. favor. Yes, it is. Okay, fantastic. Wasn't even anything around there. That is perfect. We will get this one again because it's actually safe to get. Jump. Fix the generator. Where's the generator? I hope it's all the way back at the first place. That's cool. Well, hello. Is it this thing? It must be this thing. Yes, it is. Power generator. Following engineer Montgomery's instructions, you repair the generator. Okay. And we will head on back to Montgomery, who is over here. And we'll talk to Montgomery once more. Great work! I'll make an engineer out of you yet! You're on a roll, my young friend. 
Now let's get the power here back up and running so as we don't have to depend on you. Can you go to the Galvanic Towers and reset the power relay to send the juice running this way? It's right simple, really. Okay, let's do that then. Oh, no, we have to do them from this one here. And then to this one, probably. Nope. This one. Then this one. What a weird order. And then this one. You switch the power relays on, sending galvanic energy through the circuits back to the Arboretum. Okay, let us talk to Engineer Montgomery once more. You've done it! I'm right proud of you. One of my own junior engineers could not have done any better. Those pesky water matans are coming from somewhere to be sure, if we can find out where. You can stop them at the source. They're right simple constructs without much in the way of free thought. They follow their instructions to the letter. Can you go get the cogitator circuit from one of them? It should lead you back to where it came from. Okay, I'm going to end off the episode here, and in the next episode, or in between episodes, I will have got the cogitator circuits. So thank you for watching, remember to leave a like and subscribe, and if you've already subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember, craft outside the box.